Schneider Electric has been making process automation and discrete manufacturing easy for years. It's been getting even easier. We'll configure a distributed Ethernet drop in five minutes using Unity Pro software. Our Ethernet module supports Modbus TCP, Ethernet IP, RSTP, DHCP, HTML, etc. Find another PLC vendor who does all of that with a single NRAC module. I'm using Unity Pro version 10 and have the Advanced Configuration Software version 8 installed. We will use the DHCP server built into the Ethernet module to assign the IP address of the Advantis Island. The most important thing when configuring the DHCP server is the name. It has to match exactly. Our Advantis STB has a default name based on the part number and the rotary switches. The part number is all caps. The TENS rotary switch in our case is set to 2, but it's two digits, so you're going to see a 0, 2. The WANS is set to 8, so we have 0, 2, 8, and this name matches exactly the name in the identifier. You'll see that when we configure it in Unity Pro. So let's start a new project. and we'll add an Ethernet module in slot 6. Communication Ethernet module will leave the tag name default. We will configure the module. We'll give it a hundred inputs and we'll give it a hundred outputs. The module's configured. Now let's go configure the devices on the network. Under Tools, we'll open the DTM browser. We use standard FDT DTM technology to configure the devices. DTM stands for Device Type Manager. This open standard is vendor independent and very easy to use. We like to keep it simple. So there is no need for another networking software that links stuff. Open the DTM browser. Right click to open the communications window. We're going to pick the network that we are on, 192.168.0, and we will add a device. In our case, we're going to add the Advantis STB Island. We'll leave the name default, and we'll go to the device list. There is our island. We'll double click it. We'll go to the set up the DHCP server. We're going to set it at 192.168.0.28. That 28 matched the role name. We're going to enable DHCP. We're not going to use the MAC address. We'll use the device name. And we will remember all caps. It has to match exactly. Underscore 0 02, the tens, rotary switch, 8 the ones rotary switch. We'll apply our changes. We'll close our little window. We'll build our PLC project. We will connect to the PLC. We will transfer the project to the PLC. We will run the PLC. We will give the NOC module a chance to give the Advantis Island its IP address.
we will connect uh, we will open the island nothing's there we will connect to the island connecting connecting connected we will start the Advantis DTM we will upload what's in there I have not had to connect directly to the Advantis at this point we will go online we're gonna disconnect and we're gonna assign inputs to the discrete input module so we'll call this N1 enter we'll call this DI2 enter we'll call this input 3 enter I'm very creative in my tag names and we'll call this digital input 4 enter apply ok go online connect there's a difference now we'll download this it requires the island to reset itself to s capture the changes everything is healthy we will close the advanced software we will close the DTM browser we've made modifications on the island so we are going to accept those changes PLC disconnect build build changes PLC connect PLC transfer to PLC run it and we will go down and watch our inputs and outputs well just inputs our input module we will right click initialize an animation table we will expand it there's n1 di2 input 3 They're my creative tag names and we will trigger digital input 4 see that one we will do digital input whoop, excuse me input 3 di2 for digital input 2 and n1 now wasn't that easy